are not going to renew Wait, guys. an offer to somebody. It's because of the Section 8. Because you failed the Section 8 inspection and didn't make those corrections in order to pass the Section 8 inspection. She said, um, I didn't make no corrections to pass Section 8. Like, what is she talking about? I couldn't pass it because he already felt it and I had to wait to the certain date to him to come to re-inspect it so I could correct it so it could be corrected for him to re-inspect it and so it could pass. Like, what is she talking about? I mean, walked with my, the main, our head of maintenance. I, I don't know the date of the inspection, but it was quite a bit ago. And then, you know, the, it still hadn't been corrected when we did the, you know, um, the inspection that we did with our insurance company when we had to be in your apartment. Um, and then Section 8, again, notified us that the, the things weren't corrected from the inspection that was failed. So in that case, um, you know, I can't take a chance that Section 8 is going to, you know, not want to allow you to have Section 8 anymore, number one, and we can't have it. She's crazy. Like, Section 8, they didn't fail me. I talked to her over the internet, the, um, the email and my certification. She said my rent was cool and everything. So this lady is saying, it's like, different stuff just to say it because they all want me in their apartment because I was speaking out on the smoke. And that is the same lady, it seems, the same lady I was talking about, about the cigarettes. And she got a little vibe to her, like, grimy. Like that, living on the property. She said, you know, fell a section inspections like that like I always have failed them like what are you talking about I only failed one time in a lifetime like what are you talking about <laughs> she is so weird but the um the last inspection they came with the um the insurance company they didn't send me I didn't get no um we did so this is the part I don't get the inspection people came for the insurance but I didn't get no um receipt I didn't get no um notice I mean and I'm telling her this I didn't get none of this and she keeps saying this notify everybody it wasn't an inspection for that it was a different type of still it was observed that you hadn't made the corrections from the inspection I mean it's just it's a, a violation of your lease term I don't even know what I did on the inspection for the insurance company because I thought that was for the landlord. There, there wasn't a, it wasn't for that. I'm just saying that there, you failed the Section 8 inspection and you were given a certain amount of time to correct what was wrong. And it. She said that I failed the Section 8 um, and I had a certain time to correct what was wrong. And... The guy, the um, the expecting guy said the next inspection ain't to the 29th. So you failed my lease before I could make the correction. You just see what she just said? Doesn't make any sense to me. Hadn't been corrected in the time frame. Oh, but I, um, I only missed like one like inspection did wrong and I never heard of them like kicking you out just because you have like um a wrong like something wrong they were just well, we're not, not, and I don't want to use that terminology we're not kicking you out we're choosing to non-renew your lease because you violated the terms of your lease because it was like messy or something it's the, what, what Section 8, I mean, you, you received the notification from Section 8, correct? Yeah. The notification was that, um, it's not messy like she's saying it. It was messy. It did have the alarms out and the stoves, 
um, things I'm missing. It wasn't a big deal like that. Like, she's making it, like, to not renew my lease over something petty like that after I've been here for so long. Like, you're going to treat a tenant that's been here so long like that so fast to kick them out because of a little mistake they made. And they hardly make any mistakes when a inspection guy comes. So these people are petty and they're lying and they're making excuses up so they can kick me out because they don't like me speaking up about anything that goes wrong here about the cigarette smoke and the other people were complaining too about it. When they came here, when they first came here, I forgot they was even coming. But when they came here, they, um, he seen the place because I wasn't like ready, so. I wasn't ready. I forgot the date of the inspection. It wasn't a real big deal, like. And they're making it like, I'm a bad person. I violated the lease. It's not like I tried to violate anything. But you people are cool-hearted and liars making up excuses, saying stuff twisted. She doesn't even make any sense. Sorry to tell her that. Because I corrected that. He corrected that today when he came here and he said it was cool. And it doesn't have nothing to do with my housing because the housing people, I'm still good with them. So what is she talking about? She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just on her feelings about when you try to tell her, like, to put a sign up in the hallway about the smoke sign. And they don't like to be told, like, directions, like, because they think they're so highly better than somebody, highly above somebody that they can't be told, told to make correction to. It's crazy. And that's why I'm glad I'm getting out of here, like, because I don't like them people in the office, some of them. And I hope when I leave, the other neighbors complain about stuff because I'm not going to be here no more. So, yeah.